what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to a huge Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 update as Call of Duty Season 4 Reloaded has just been revealed which will be landing on our consoles and PCs very shortly which is very very exciting as this was expected to come next week but it brings a new weapon, contracts and some special modes as well which I'm looking forward to. So this video is going to be your one-stop shop to everything that you need to know for the mid-season 4 update. But before we get into all that awesome news, 75.9% of you watching this right now are not subscribed to the channel. So subscribe and you'll get better at Warzone. I promise. We've got to kick off with one of the most important pieces of news from this update, and that's the inclusion of a brand new sniper to Modern Warfare, the Rytek AMR. And this is probably going to get a lot of you very excited because it is effectively the 50 cal from previous Modern Warfare games, which has always been a fan favorite. The Rytek AMR is described as a 50 caliber chambered beast, which joins the three other weapons in the sniper rifle category and is yours to unlock via an in-game challenge which we can hope isn't too difficult to unlock like previous weapons however a blueprint variant will also be available to get through the store in the lost souls bundle but whether you need to lock down an objective in multiplayer lay waste in aq in co-op or take that cross for dank shot in warzone the Rytek AMR is one of the deadliest semi-automatic anti-material rifles an operator can get their hands on. Use the included Pictionary Rail to gunsmith it out to the situation at hand and get back in the fight as your squad's reliable sharpshooter. The most interesting thing with this is that it's a semi-automatic sniper, so falls within the same category as the Dragonov, though I expect we'll be able to comfortably take out someone with a one-shot headshot, though is bound to have a lot of kick to it, just like previous games. But if you're a sniper fan, this is something people have been asking for for a long time, as snipers just haven't been touched since Modern Warfare first came out, and I can't wait to get my hands on it to see if it changes the game's meta. Next, another one of the big announcements with the mid-season 4 update is the inclusion of a brand new limited time mode that has been rumored for a while now, and that is 200 player quads. Warzone has been one of the largest battle royales out there, and it's going to get even bigger. For me, this is great news, as the mid part of the game, in my opinion, sometimes sees lobbies die out pretty fast and not have enough players. So this mode will hopefully combat that. Though drop locations like Superstore and Airport could be about to become even hotter, which is slightly terrifying to think about. So you may want to go ahead and change your strategy for the 200 player mode if that's your go to drop location. As odds are, there will be a lot of players to deal with. The mode was described as the Danks will now be able to hold up to 200 players in battle royale quads. That means 50 quads of operators fighting each other and the encroaching circle collapse. This new player count makes Warzone an even bigger battle royale experience, so get ready to drop in alongside 199 other members of this million strong community to cause havoc. Personally, I just can't wait to give it a go. This next mode has also been teased since the minigun was put into Vault 11, and that is the brand new Juggernaut Royale mode. Now, this mode will work by you finding one of the airdropped care packages to become the Juggernaut and use the minigun to attack enemies and vehicles. Once a Juggernaut is sent to the Gulag, a new Juggernaut care package will drop onto the map. So do your best to capture the suit and take on any squad that stands in your way. It's gonna be interesting to see how the Juggernaut holds up, especially in the larger open areas of the map, as you're gonna be very slow to move around. And it'll also be interesting to see if you can get into your teammates vehicles if the game mode squad base but nonetheless will be another fun mode coming to warzone and if i'm honest i really want to see more of this from infinity ward as new modes really do help to freshen the game up okay now something else i also got very excited about because it shows what we could potentially get in the future with other updates is the inclusion of a brand new piece of equipment the spotter scope this is described as think of a high powered scope without the glint. This reusable scope allows you to scan the environment around you and mark enemies without being detected. 
perfect for scouting ahead, the spotter scope is a great tool for operators who want to plan their next move whilst keeping a low profile. Now, this is definitely going to be a piece of equipment that suits slower paced game styles, but in larger areas of the map like farmland, where it's very easy for enemies to hide, this could be exactly what you need to spot them for you and your team and could help you win the game. But as I said earlier, this is the first piece of equipment that has been updated into the game. This could mean they could add grappling hooks or repels or anything like that to really help change the game's meta up in the future, which is definitely needed for places like Airport Tower. So even though for me, I'm not super excited about the spot scope, I'm more excited about what it could mean for the future. The next big update you're going to want to know about for the mid-season 4 update is that there is a brand new contract being added into the game called Supply Run, which means we now have Scavenger, Recon, Bounty, Most Wanted, Contraband, and the brand new Supply Run contract to choose from. We do not yet know if another contract will be swapped out for Supply Run until we get our hands on the update. But Supply Run is described as upon activation, you and your squad will be directed to a nearby buy station. Reach it within the time limit to get a discount on buy station purchases. Our recommendation, two feet can only get you to a buy station fast enough. So consider alternate modes of transportation. Now, if we're completely honest, this is going to really change how people play the game, especially if loadout drops and UAVs are on discount because those are two of the most important things that you can buy in the game if you want to do well. Same as buying your teammates back. This could be your chance to get your squad back into the game with a small amount of cash. Though, in my opinion, I can already see people camping out buy stations a lot more often purely because they know, like the bounty contract system, teams will be far more likely to push into those areas for those big discounts so you could get some easy kills by people just stood there buying stuff as quickly as they can. Also, other good news is the Gulag weapons are changing again. First, it was shotguns and pistols. Then it was automatic weapons. And it'll be interesting to see what they decide to go for this time. Personally, I would quite like a larger weapon cycle, including the new sniper rifle for some quick, fun 1v1 quick scopes, which I personally haven't done since COD 4, which would be a lot of fun. Though it'll probably go back to semi-automatic weapons as it gave you more varied gameplay rather than players just sitting at the back of the map mounting but we'll find out more about that tomorrow modern warfare has also got itself a brand new multiplayer map called cheshire park it was described in the update as for those that have the full modern warfare experience have a new locale to deploy to cheshire park located in urban london england cheshire park is a picturesque garden and conservatory where operators will battle from door to door or through the central flora filled area Take to the townhomes for long sight lines, the stores to capture objectives through intense close quarters combat battles, or take to the side streets to take some shortcuts. If you dare, try to challenge those who may set up shop in second story windows, phone booths, front yards, or scaffolding. New maps always interest me as a Warzone player, as there's always a chance they'll implement elements of those maps into Warzone in the future. Also, a big thing to be aware of, though the details have not yet been released, is this update is also the update where there will be a whole host of weapon changes to really change up the Warzone meta. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those, as I'll tell you as soon as they're available, as well as tips to get the most out of the changes so you're one step ahead of the competition. This Modern Warfare Mid-Season 4 update also brings with it a new multiplayer mode called Team Defender. It was introduced nearly a decade ago, but Team Defender returns to Modern Warfare as a fast-paced objective game mode that puts a twist on the traditional capture the flag formula. Instead of both teams defending their respective flags, there is only one flag for a squad member to capture and hold on to. A squad earns a point for every second that one of their members holds onto this flag, which means defending the carrier is a must for victory. Other than needing the flag to earn points, attackers will want to down the carrier for points, which will lead to games where both squads will frantically attempt to wrest control of the flag until the very last second in this pulse-pounding multiplayer experience. For me, this mode sounds like a lot of fun, but I have to admit, I hope it gets put into shipment 24-7 so I can finish off my Damascus camo weapon challenges as quickly as possible 
bring back shipment 24 7. Also, as always with these big updates, we also got the introduction of a brand new operator called Rose, who looks like a badass, to be honest, with like this gladiator style helmet. And as always, there will be a load of other customization packs available in the store. But what I know a lot of us always stress out about with these big updates is the download itself. And we've been given a load of information about that as well. The season four reloaded update is going to be around 22 to 36 gig for owners of the full version of Modern Warfare. Then if you play on console, you will need to do another download of around 3.5 gig to access multiplayer once you reboot the game. Then once the update is fully completed, it will minimally increase the overall digital footprint of the game. So make sure you've got some extra space for the download. But if you only own Warzone, this update is going to be pretty damn awesome because it will actually reduce the overall footprint of Warzone on your machine as it won't download everything you don't need, which is pretty cool. I'm also expecting this update will bring us the next steps of the Warzone Easter egg and hopefully tell us what's under the ice and give us access to those other bunkers by letting us get access to those laptops that are dotted around the map. But we'll have to wait and see. But that's all we know about the season four update right now. Make sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And remember, I'll be covering everything you want in this update on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed and click one of the videos on screen for more Warzone content. And I'll see you there.